Hi guys and welcome back to Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. The overall standings are looking really good now. We're on 700 points. Next guy is 125 points behind us. So let's start the next event. It's the Sandy Creek Open. It's at Lake Travis. And we're bass fishing. Greetings everybody and welcome to the next event on the tour. While the competitors are making their final checks... Let's put the old loafers on, get into the chinos, pretend we're Sonny Crockett and jump in the speedboat and it's Mammy Vice time! Yes! Or we could just go fishing. It's entirely up to you. So I did a little practice event, I normally do before I do the, the main thing. And I found a really good fishing spot, it's like a little channel area. It's not very deep either, it's pretty narrow. And eventually, the bass would just say coming through. There's plenty in the sonar, and it's one of the best spots I found on Slake. Should be just a heady, I think. Hope I can find it again. Yeah, here we are. Nice, narrow channel. The sonar is pretty active. And look at the depth. Five feet, it's nothing at all. So here's my new best friend, the booty shaker. Let's get this thing in the water and hopefully we'll catch lots of bass. I've got the speed set at two for the booty shaker. I did try it at one, it wasn't as good. So I think two, yeah, that's definitely the sweet spot for it. When I did my practice event for the lake, I think I've got about 40 pounds. So if I can get somewhere similar, I think that should be enough to win the event. Any more than that, yeah, it's party time. Not looking good for this one so far. So now it's a lot quieter. It was a lot more busy than this in the practice event. Oh, I've done a miscast there as well. Actually, it didn't turn out too bad. We've got 20 yards out. So I think we'll just go with it. And the leader's on the board already. They've got a four pound bass. Two minutes gone. Please, let's catch a fish. <laughs> yeah, I always recommend doing the practice events or maybe just fish for fun in these places. Try and get similar settings like time of the day, the weather, that sort of thing. Then you can find the nice fishing spots. If you're catching stuff, try and make a note of it. Write it down in a book like I normally do. So then when you come to these events, you know exactly where to go. That's where you've been successful anyway. Right, then we've got a strike, and it's a perfect strike. Fantastic. Ooh, this guy's really stretching the old line here. I'm on 15 pounds at the moment. That should be more than enough for these bass. Whoa, this guy, I'm starting to think he could be a 10, 12 pounder. And the leader, oh, he's up to eight pounds already. Wow, that guy is flying. Yeah, let's slow and steady. Definitely want to get this guy reeled in. Get some numbers on the board. At least the sonar. Yeah, that's looking a bit more active as well. So hopefully these are all good signs for a good day's fishing. This is taking a real long time to reel this guy in. And finally, we've got him. Yeah, he's a big lad. At least a 10 pounder, I'm thinking. 10 pound, one ounces. Fantastic. That should shoot us straight into the lead, I think. And it does. That's a fabulous start for my new best friend, the booty shaker. Yeah, this, this the lure got recommended to me in the, one of the forums. Everybody said it's really good at catching bass. And it doesn't let you down. 
I'm actually thinking this thing is better than the Ocean Breeze. Apart from the Booty Shaker, I've got the old Frogler and the Ocean Breeze. We're using 15 pound lines and we're on 9 foot rods. So not, yeah, it's not as active as it was. Five minutes down. Oh, we got a bite straight away. And it's another perfect. Fantastic. Oh, no, no, no. Whoosh. This thing, it's going to snap the line. Just let him go. Just let him go. Ooh, that was, what, four, maybe even five times I thought that line had gone. Oh, this is another 10-pounder. It has to be. Wait, it's pulling on this line. Yeah, I'm going to have to be slow and steady. It could take a while to reel this guy in like the first one we caught. It's definitely not a tiddler. This thing is... I'm thinking 10-pounder. How many times is he going to stretch this line? If we're going to catch monsters like this, I think I'll actually have to upgrade the line to a 30-pounder. Or maybe a 20. I think 30 might be a bit too big. This fish, it's pulling for all it's worth. He's determined to snap this line. Can we get him reeled in? There we go. Finally, we've got him in the net. Let's have a look at him. Wow, that is seriously disappointing. I was thinking a lot bigger than that. That's probably, yeah, I was going to say £8. £8.12. I was expecting a £10 plus there. Right, there's plenty in the old sonar. Let's get the booty shaker back in. Our lead, it's extended to £10 now. I think I'll leave the speed at two for now. We're having decent success with this booty shaker at two. I have tried it at one. It's not as good, like I said. And we've got another bite. Again, it's a perfect strike. This is more like it. Whoa, watch the line. Watch the line. You will so not. It's really active. Look at all the fish going by. See what I mean? This spot is really good. You wouldn't think this is a 15 pound line the way it's being pulled on. Yeah, these, I'm guessing it's going to be another 8 pounder. <laughs> After that last one nearly snapped the line. I couldn't believe that. That 10 pounder, it was a lot easier to wheel in. Second spot's up to nine pound four ounces now. Not really making much inroads in our lead, and we've caught them anyway, so we should extend ours. That's not a bad size, actually. What's that? Another nine, eight nine pounder? Eight pounds exactly. Fantastic. Yeah, the eight pounders seem to be harder to catch than the tens. Right, we've got a lead now of twenty six pounds thirteen ounces. Let's get the famous booty shaker back into the water. I absolutely love this thing now. Wow, straight away we got another bite and again, perfect strike. Me timing's definitely with it today. I'm still keeping an eye on the sauna. Look at the fish. This, I think, is definitely the sweet spot for this lake. So what sort of weight do you think we're going to catch today, guys? I mean, at current estimates, we're probably hitting 50 pounds. I think we're going to have a lull at some point. So I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess 45. I think that's a reasonable assumption. Any more than... Wait, if we get 50, it'll be, like, mental. If we get over 40, we're going to win the event anyway. This guy stretching the line just a little bit, so he's probably not a massive one. It does seem to be the smaller fish they're really darting about, pulling on the line for all the worth with the bigger fish. They just kind of take the time.
as I'm reeling this guy in, I'm having a quick look at the old sonar here, and yeah, there's still plenty of fish swimming by, so I think we picked a brilliant spot here. Right, come on, give up the ghost, dude. Get in my net. And finally, we got him. This is not a bad size. This could be a nine pounder, maybe. Nine pound eight ounces. Yes, I'm getting good, pretty good at guessing the old sizes here. Thirty-six pound five ounces. We've extended our lead now to twenty-four pounds. Yeah, we're bossing this whole leaderboard now. Right, it's back in the water. Let's catch some more. Oh, look at the old sonar. It's very active. Still got the line speed at two. It seems to be this, the perfect number for this lure anyway. I've tried it at three occasionally and at one. Yeah, they don't seem to be as good as two. Well, for catching bass anyway. Oh, I think we're going to strike out this time. Six yards, five. Yeah, it's a recast, isn't it? Yeah, let's put it further to the left. We'll try the other side of the channel this time. Hopefully we'll have a bit more luck. 45 yards, that's not bad casting. It does seem to take a while to turn green, doesn't it? So another low is actually in the, the prime spot. I mean, that took, what, 38 yards? So it's a good seven yards. After you casted it out there. Come on, fishies, where you're at. There's still plenty flying by on the old sonar here. Oh, wow, looks like we're going to strike out again. I don't believe it's six yards five. Yeah, we are. Um, yeah, let's do a recast right in the middle of the channel this time. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to recast that. Where's that line going? Whoa. 53 yards? That's not a bad miscast, is it? I'll take it. Again, the low, it took 7 yards to turn green. I think that's pretty shocking that if you if you're not casting it out too far, having to waste seven yards of it. Yeah, it's not great. Right, hopefully this time we might get something. Still the sonar's still pretty active as well. Oh, we could do with catching some at this time. It's been nearly three minutes since we caught our last fish. I mean, that's a chunk of time when we're only playing for 20. Nope, I think it's a strike out, and it is. Right, let's go to the other side of the channel this time. Right on this corner here. Hopefully, my, my idea is they're coming through this channel, and then they're going back out in the open lake. And then they're jumping out of my rod. What do you think of that? That's a plan, isn't it? You will soon know it's got a little bit quiet now, hasn't it? Hmm, have I made the right decision here? Oh, I got a bite! Fantastic, and it's a perfect strike. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to doubt this side. I'm thinking, yeah, that's so. Look at the sun now, it's all active. Okay, just gotta calm it down, reel this guy in. Oh, this guy is really stretching the line. Damn. Right, gotta be careful here. We're gonna snap line if I'm not. Get this guy reeled in. What, what sort of numbers do you think I should be looking at? Over 50 pounds today, guys. I mean, I had a bit of a rough start. If I get over 50, I think, yeah, that'll be a decent day's fishing. This guy is really pulling in this line. Maybe over 10 pounds? Or am I hoping too much? Let 
been on nearly a minute with this guy. Oh, wow. And he's still pulling on the line. Yeah, we're down to about five minutes left in the event. Come on, dude. Give up the ghost. Just get in my net, will you? I think this thing's got an outboard motor the way it's swimming backwards and forwards. Finally, we've got him. I took a long time. Ooh, this could be 10 plus. 12 pound, 10 ounces, and it's a new personal best. Fantastic. Ooh, what's that done to our numbers now? Ooh, 48 pounds, 15. It's one more fish, and it'll put us over the 50 pound mark. Oh, crap. And straight away, I do a bad cast. Should we leave it? We'll make it over 50 yards. Um, is this thing ever going to land? Wow, it lasts. And it's 23 yards. <laughs> it took like an hour to come down from the sky. Um, We'll just fish with it, I think. We've only got four minutes to go. Just got to keep everything in the water as long as we can. Yeah, that, that took quite a while to reel that line in. Because of the miscast, we, we probably put like 100 yards of line out there. Yeah, we're going to strike out here. 23 yards. We didn't have much to play with, did we? Yeah, let's recast in the middle again. Hopefully this time it'll be a good cast. And it is. 100%. 45 yards. That's more like it. Ah, we got a bite. Oh, it's only a good strike this time. Oh, he's fighting it. This is probably going to be the last fish of the event, isn't it? Yeah, if we take a minute to reel it in, that's only going to leave us two minutes. So, yeah, better take our time here. Oh, and he's going airborne. It's a novel tactic to try and get away. Has he given up the ghost yet? Oh, yes, no. Yes, he is. I thought he might be. He seemed to be not going as fast. Ah, oh, it's only a tiddle. This is probably like six pounds, maybe. Nice colours, though. Four pounds, three ounces. That put us over the 50? I think it has. Oh, it didn't count. I wonder why. Maybe because it was a small mouth bass. They don't count. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Right, we'll do one quick more cast. We'll do it on this little corner here. We did have a bit of success here. So no, it's going to be quiet. Don't doubt yourself. Come on, you can do it. See what I mean? This fish on the old sonar straight away. We've got about 30 seconds to catch something because you've got to take in. It takes a minute to reel something in. So yeah, not long to go. Oh, this may be a strikeout. I think it is. Yeah, got nothing. Let's go back to the other side quickly. Even if we get something, I'm not sure we'll have enough time to actually reel this guy in. That's going to be a shame. I really would like to get to that magical 50 pound mark. I know we're going to win the event, but you've got, like I said, you've got to give yourself little targets. Try and keep yourself competitive. Oh, we got a bite. We've got 44 seconds to reel him in. Is it going to be enough? Just got to be really aggressive here. I'm, I'm pulling the line for all I'm worth. Just trying to get him in. We'll be really lucky if we can get him here. Oh, he's so close to the boat now. Come on, Mr. Fishy. Just please give up. We've only got just over 10 seconds left. Oh, 
unbelievable we caught him that's probably eight pounds yes <laughs> oh it didn't count damn it right we still had a good day's fishing we got seven fish in the end 48 pounds 15 ounces and we won the event so if you've had a good time please like subscribe comment all that good stuff and i'll see you next time for some more fishing sim world pro tour bye guys